Okay, thank you for clicking on the old video. This is Gullpain, and today we are looking at the top 20 uh, Switch games according to Metacritic. So basically, I've been looking recently. I find it interesting to go to Metacritic, you know, see what the scores are. I'll normally go there for, um, you know, uh, a review of a game before I buy it, etc. Unless I really, really want the game. Um, so it's interesting to see it, but I just, I just have to disagree with a lot of Metacritic's uh, scoring or a lot of their um, kind of lists and stuff like that as well. So. So let's have a quick look and see what we have here, right? So number twenty is Chikoria Colorful Tale. Never heard of it. I can't speak of it at all, and so I don't really know. But ninety looks good. Uh, Ori, this is a game that I would like. A lot of people are telling me to get this because it's, I think it's a Metroidvania style game, or it's somewhere like a platform game, something like that, which I would like. So I'll have to look into that. Uh, Animal Crossing New Horizons. I have it, I just haven't started it yet. Again, it's another gigantic game that I'm afraid to start in case I get totally addicted to it. Uh, because a lot of people are telling me that, you know, when this was, you know, like in lockdown in uh, March uh, 2020, 2020, when it came out, you know, everyone was playing it non stop and, uh, you know, they're getting addicted to it. So that's good, but uh, I don't know. Shovel Knight is on my list. Um, I must actually buy it, particularly the Switch version, because the Switch version has, I think that's the, the complete edition. Well, yes, it is, because it says here, complete edition. So that's the one I wanted to get. So I think, so I will be able to speak of that soon when I pick it up and play it. And I want to get the second one as well, the the second Shovel Knight, although I don't, I've heard it's not as good as the first one. Steam World Heist Ultimate Edition, not sure what that is. Uh, that one looks interesting. I'm not sure what it is though. Sonic Mania Plus. I have Sonic Mania for PS4, so there must be something different about this Encore Pack. Don't know. Sonic Sonic Mania is good. It's just like original Sonic. I don't really like Sonic, but I don't know. It's, it seems okay. Uh, this is good actually. Dragon Quest. Uh, someone got me this for Christmas. Um, or for my birthday. It was one of them. Anyway, I can't remember. But um, that's really it's a really good RPG. It's quite simple at the start. But um, the graphics are excellent in it, and it's got it's got a it's got a pretty interesting story as well. And like Dragon Quest XI, you know, it must be pretty good if it's the eleventh game. That's not even the eleventh game because there's loads of Dragon Quest games. Uh, Inside, don't know what that is. That appeared on another list I looked at recently as well, but um, not sure what it is. I must uh, look it up because it's uh, if it's the thirteenth best game on the Switch, it must be pretty good. I can understand Mario Kart in the top twenty, totally there. It's an excellent game, and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I know they didn't make a new. Mario Kart game for the Switch, which they probably should have, but uh, Mario Kart 8 for the, the Wii U was still pretty good, and the update was good as well. Bayonetta is one I've never tried. Um, I really like the the kind of style of Bayonetta. I've seen like you know uh, people, not people play it, but like you know people review it and stuff and say like oh it's really good. So Bayonetta, I really like the kind of aesthetic of it, where you know everyone's flying around, and it's kind of very cinematic as it says here. Uh, so it looks good. And I can understand why that is. I think that was a Wii U game though. Uh, Celeste, that appeared on another list as well, but I don't know what it is, um, so I'll have to check that out. Super Smash Bros, I've never played a single Super Smash Bros. game, but loads of my friends will be talking about it, and they're all really interested in, like, who's the new character and all this, and, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, um, kind of peripheral things to Smash Bros. if you like the games, you know, there's a lot of hype, and there's a lot of, kind of, you know, kind of social, social aspect to it, um, which I quite, quite would like, would like to enjoy, but, uh, I don't uh, haven't partaken any of them yet, so I can't speak of it. Undertale is a game I haven't seen, but I know Kenny Omega had his one of his entrances in AEW when he was a when he was uh, wrestling. Uh, he had Undertale as his entrance, so if he likes it, it can't be too bad. So I must try it. And there's another Ori game. Uh, again, I think that's another Metroidvania style, so which would which would be right up my street. Uh, Divinity Original Sin. This must be good because this appears on the P PS4 uh, list of all time. Uh, well, top 20 Metacritic games uh, as well, so it must be pretty good. That one's an interesting one. I see a lot of people play Hades, actually. Um, it doesn't really look like a type of game that I would like because, well, it's not a cast. It's not a Metroidvania or it's not a JRPG, but I think it's somewhere in between, so I must have a, a look at that and see if it's any good. Uh, Tetris Effect Connected. I'm assuming it's Tetris. You know, you can't go wrong with Tetris. The House in Fata Morgana. Suspense Tale. Ooh, that sounds good. Sounds like I might like that actually. As long as it's not a, oh, it's a visual novel. No, I don't like visual novels. I'm not a fan of those at all. So, wow, that's an impressive score for a visual novel. I can understand. I thought that would be. I thought actually, actually no, I understand why Breath of the Wild got number one. I thought it would be between um, Mario Kart Odyssey and Breath of the Wild for number one there, but it is Breath of the Wild. 
so i do have mario odyssey i love mario odyssey i'm actually almost finished it it's a fantastic game that'll probably be my favorite game on the switch or kingdom majestic uh, my favorite game on the switch um but um yeah breath of the wild i haven't started it again these like gigantic games where you have to put like you know a hundred hours into them to get you know to get your money's worth I just can't start them at the moment. I prefer like kind of short 10 or 10 or 15 hour games, you know, like RPGs, Resident Evil style games or Metroidvanias. Uh, I just find them easier because, you know, devoting so much time to a game. The last game I devoted loads of hours to was Spider-Man on PS4 and I seem to be playing that for weeks and weeks and weeks. So I understand why Breath of the Wild is on top there, but uh, I don't know, I need to get into Zelda games a bit more. I'm just not into them that much. Um, so that's an interest. That's very interesting. Very interesting to see uh, and, and a visual novel so far up the list. So let's have a quick look and see what didn't make the list. Hollow Knight, that's a really good game. I have that. How did Bayonetta 1 and 2 not get up there? It's got two of the games. How can that not be better than just Bayonetta 2? I don't know. Xenoblade Chronicles, that looks good as well. I just bought Mario 3D World. A few here. Metroid Dread, I thought that'd be way higher. Surprised that's only 88. So just a few here. Cave Story, that's one that I see appear on a lot of lists. I must try and get that. Uh, it seems to be a very, very good game and one that I would like. Right, I can't really see Axiom Verge, another Metroidvania style game there. Right, interesting. Have Spice Streets of Rage so far up there. I didn't really like that at all compared to the first Streets of Rage. Okay, so that's the top 20 um, at the moment uh, Switch games according to Metacritic. Obviously, this will change. Uh, when people do more reviews or when new games come out etc etc so let me know what you think of these top 20 uh switch games in the comment section below did i just say metroidvania by accident uh in the comment section below do you agree or disagree with the scores or do you agree or disagree with my analysis of them here let me know uh, so i will see you in the next video thanks for watching and appreciate you watching till the end adios